I went shopping this morning. There are some orange bags. Huge Hermes luxury unboxing in another video, so stay tuned. We have massive amounts of goodies. Your girl splurged. You know, I was very particular about what I wanted when I got there. I had like a whole list in my phone. She was like, hey, you know, what are you looking for? I'm like, I'm looking for this bag, this bag, this bag, this bag. And <laughs> she had on a mask, so all I could see is her eyes. I could tell she was like, let me spill the tea. I see her through the corner of my eye and she has like two huge boxes and rushes past me like as my back was turned and put them in a back room. Now I'm like, does she have a Birkin or something? Like what? what are in those boxes? And I was like, you know what? Let me play it chill. Let me play it cool. Let me not be thirsty. So we go upstairs and then she like escorts me into a room. I'm like, oh my God, now is the moment. Now is the moment. She was like, look, I know this is not the color that you were looking for. And she pulled out this bag and I was like, oh, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Now, I styled it with just like some sweats and some yellow and white Nikes the other day. And it was a vibe. People were like, girl, where'd you get your coat from? And I'm like, <sighs> Hermes. Are you ready? First of all, we need gloves because I'm going to give you the authentic experience. So let's grab some gloves. Now, when I said gloves, I meant socks because your girl is not walking around with a pair of white gloves. Like, why would I have white gloves? So you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna put on some socks. It's gonna do the same thing as the gloves. Just pretend, okay? Just pretend. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I am Sai De Silva, and I do a lot of vlogs predominantly about luxury fashion, fashion, chaotic life, what it really looks like behind the scenes, as well as chic parenting and New York City vibes. So I am a vibe, make sure you subscribe. But today is all about a luxury haul from Hermes. When I say a big haul, hold on. Wait a minute, I got us covered. We have massive amounts of goodies. Now, I do want to give you a little disclaimer. I have been wearing the hell out of most of these things. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, follow my Instagram right here, you have probably seen some of the items that I have already purchased. But if you have not, let's just dive right into it. I went to the Hermes store in Paris when I was there for fashion month and I was like, you know what? I'm only coming in for one thing. Now, ideally, I do want a mini Kelly. That was on my mind. However, I really was like after this other bag called the 2424 in a miniature size. Quick story on like how the whole process works. So I go and I used up my friend's essay. You know, I was very particular about what I wanted when I got there. I didn't mess around. I had like a whole list in my phone. She was like, hey, you know, what are you looking for? I'm like, I'm looking for this bag, this bag, this bag, this bag. And <laughs> she had on a mask, so all I could see is her eyes. I could tell she was like, she's like, okay, well, I will see what I have in the back. Why don't you take a look around and see if you see anything else? That was code for, are you really an Hermes shopper or are you a reseller? We need to see you buy other things before we can offer you anything on that list. So I already got the lowdown of like the whole Hermes thing. So I'm like, okay, let me just like shop around because I'm also prepared to purchase a bag. So I didn't want to spend too much on other things. So I was just like, okay, you know, I'll buy some shoes, obviously, maybe like a scarf and some perfume and call it a day. Let me spill the tea. I see her through the corner of my eye and she has like two huge boxes and rushes past me like as my back was turned and put them in a back room and like close the door. Now I'm like, does she have a Birkin or something? Like what? what are in those boxes? And I was like, you know what? Let me play it chill. Let me play it cool. Let me not be thirsty. Mind you, this is my first Hermes bag purchase. I do not own any bags. So this would have been a first for me. So I try and play it cool. I just remember someone else telling me like, girl, just play it cool. Don't be thirsty. I was like, okay, don't be thirsty. That's what I kept thinking of myself. So she comes back out. She's like, do you see anything else you like? Never once mentioned the bags. Never mentioned what she had. Never mentioned anything. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to be thirsty. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep shopping unless I know like you got the goods. Do you got the goods or do you not have the goods? Like, you know what? I was like, yes, I would love to try on these shoes, this, this, and this. So we did the thing. She was like, is there anything else that you like? And then she took me downstairs. I was like, oh, this is nice. Yeah, sure. Then she's like, is there anything else? I said, look, 
I'm about to go broken here, okay? I was like, no, there's nothing else. She's like, okay. So we go upstairs and then she like escorts me into a room. I'm like, oh my God, now is the moment. Now is the moment. She's like, well, I did find something and she had two boxes and she was like, it's not the exact color that you were looking for because I was looking for neutral colors, things that I can get a lot of use out of. If I'm gonna drop my dime and my coin, I wanna make sure that I am wearing it. She was like, look, I know this is not the color that you were looking for. They didn't have the many, but they had one size up and she pulled out this bag and I was like, oh, my heart stopped. Boom, 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 boom. I'll leave that there first. Let me show you all the other things I purchased before I jump into the bags. Two, plural, stick around, stick around. Your girl splurged, okay? I saw this and I was like, am I ready to wear? Am I? shopping and ready to wear Hermes? I think I am. So I saw this and I was like, oh my God, this is a vibe. I really, really liked it. Let me go ahead, unzip just a bit. We're in my closet. Okay, here she is. Here she is. It is winter in New York City. And I got this bubble Hermes. It's not actually a bubble, but kind of like a quilted Hermes jacket. Get into the patterns. I love the yellow colors, the leather trim here on the zippers. The trim is super, super soft, really nice. What I love about this jacket, guys, it is reversible. Yes, completely reversible. We have this logo down here. We have pockets and it comes with the belt. You can take the belt off and put it through the loops on the other side as well. Did I get a twofer? Your girl got a twofer, two, four, one, yes. Now, I styled it with just like some sweats and some yellow and white Nikes the other day and it was a vibe. People were like, girl, where'd you get your coat from? And I'm like, <sighs> Hermes. Hermes, come. Come with me to my bathroom so we can see what this is looking like. Okay, here is the jacket. Now, I can get away with wearing this little sweatsuit as well, but I thought it was just like such a cute vibe. And again, I love the fact that it is reversible. So if you need the solid because you're feeling really uncomfortable with the pattern, you can do that. I'm gonna put a photo of how I wore it the other day outside. And then overall, let me just kind of tie it so you can see what it looks like. Right, get into that. Cute. I'm giving you equestrian vibes. Do you want me to reverse it for you? Let me reverse it, please hold. Okay, and here is the reverse side. As you can see, it still has some of the trim sticking out. Once you zip it, it will be completely gone or you can kind of go ahead and just fold it in, which is really nice. Um, again, I really like this jacket because it is reversible. So I do feel like you're getting a twofer, but I just think that it's just a very chic piece. And you know what? This is timeless. It is classic. This jacket will last you for Ever. You're going to be a granny in Hermes? Yes, please. I want to be a chic grandmother and this is giving me the vibe. Now, let's move on. We are on the floor. I felt like we're gonna get comfy, we're gonna get cozy. I do want to pinpoint, I got this gift. This was actually a gift from Hermes because I just recently got on their beauty PR mailing list, which was like, I'm so, so excited about it. So this is a very beautiful gift. I'll share that last. We're gonna go from like smallest to largest situation. So I pick this up. This is a fragrance, by the way. So this is their Hermes fragrance, but it is an oil. Now, at first I was kind of like, eh, you know, just like picking up things just to pick them up. What is the name of this? I think this is like Mus Palita, Palita. I can't even say it. So you know what? Let's just go into the point that it does smell very good. Wait, come on. Focus, focus, focus. So this is an oil. We'll get a little bit closer. And I just put, I take it off like this and I just kind of dab just a tiny bit around my pressure point areas and it smells heavenly. Like I am literally 
obsessed with this and I'm so sensitive to fragrances. This one is not overwhelming and it smells fantastic. I'll leave the name down below just in case you want to take a smell or if you're at a Hermes and pop in makes a really beautiful gift for the holidays. I will say that tiny bottle was a little pricey. I think that's going to probably run you about $350. So I am going to talk about a few prices here for the bags so you can kind of know what's going on. Because I remember before I ever walked into an Hermes, I always thought to myself, like, it is astronomical. And yes, it is very pricey. But now with Chanel prices going through the roof, Hermes is actually more attainable than the Chanel prices. So I think you just need to kind of uh, pick and choose what you're getting and don't pay attention to the resale sites. The thing about Hermes is that you are going to always get your money back on some of these items, like the bags, because they resell for so much more. So a mini Kelly will probably resell about two to three times more than the price in the store. So for example, a mini Kelly in the States will run you I think about 7600 very expensive still like this it's an astronomical price however it is an investment it appreciates as soon as you purchase it so if it's running about 60 7600 in the store you can probably get brand new crazy I know this is gonna sound crazy you can probably sell it for 16k because it is so hard to get that people are literally out here spending these prices on these bags and i'm like uh i'm not about to spend 16k on a bag no no i have to draw the line somewhere let's jump into another piece i was actually going to give this to my husband i didn't open this i happened to come home with this bag to be honest i had to drop some of the some of the boxes while i was in paris because I had to get this stuff from Paris back to the States and I packed some of the things and then the bags I put in my carry-on um, because I was like, I'm not putting those things in my suitcase. Get into this. Very beautiful. I'm loving the print. It is a scarf. Scarf. Can never go wrong with a beautiful printed Hermes scarf. I just overall really love the design. I love these neutral colors. Now, a lot of the scarves in the women's um, section are very vibrant and lively and have a lot of like vibrant colors. And that's just not me. I can't always wear vibrant colors. I like things that are more neutral and things that will grow with me over time. But overall, like the fabric feels so amazing. It is just overall such a beautiful scarf and it is unisex. Like I, I definitely can see my husband wearing something like this with a very nice wool coat. Next thing up on my list is a pair of shoes. Now these shoes I did not purchase in Paris. These shoes I purchased while I was here. I don't know if I showed them to you on YouTube. I definitely have showed them on my Instagram stories but these were something that I was after since over the summer and then they finally came in towards the end of the summer and I grabbed them. So these are the Hermes clogs. This is what they are looking like. They're very beautiful. I love the studs around the sides and I like the subtleness of the Hermes logo inside the leather. Clogs are definitely all the rage. They feel hard. Okay, the con of these shoes is that you are purchasing authentic Hermes equestrian vibe, feel, and sound. I sound like a horse walking from a mile away. You can hear me go click, 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 click. <laughs> it's like, so what I was thinking is that I need to go ahead and have a very thin um, piece of, of rubber put at the bottom just because they feel very stiff and hard and they're a little bit uncomfortable and God forbid you kick your ankle the way I kicked my ankle the other day and it is painful. 
it is a very painful situation however they are chic and they look good so i think once i can put in the piece of leather they will be a lot more comfortable but this is definitely a clog and a shoe that you need to kind of break in a little bit um they don't give me blisters or anything like that it's just a very like it's not flexible it's not giving me any flex this will be around forever again another classic vibe clogs go out they always come back in just definitely keep these. I think that these are something that's gonna be like hard to get. They're already, I think, they're already sold out, but you could possibly get them on some resale sites. In for another pair of shoes. This is going to be a pair of loafers that I found that I really, really genuinely loved. These are the loafers. This is what they're looking like. Literally, I have already worn them. They look so cute with a pair of jeans um, and just like a white button down. I've definitely taken a photo in these. Get into the detail of them. Are they comfortable, you asked? Very. These are very, very comfortable loafers. Took them on the train, walked around the city, and I had absolutely no issues. I also have very narrow feet. They run true to size, so I did not size up. I wear 38, and it is what it is. Um, the leather gets soft. It stretches a tiny bit, so it gives a little. Um, but overall, the leather is fantastic, and I just think that these were a really great buy. And guess what? They're timeless. They're classic, as most Hermes pieces they will last you for a long period of time. Let's move on to the gifted item that I was telling you about. Now this is from Hermes Beauty, Box Beautiful. But check this out. We're gonna be jumping right into all about Hermes nails. So what we have in here is, open this up. How extra, how extra am I about to be? I am going to be the most extra human being on the planet. I'm going to be like, with my sunglasses on, I'm like, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, oh, do, do you need a nail file? Uh, yes, you can borrow my nail file if you like. Extra. This is what these Hermes nail files are giving me. Extra, and it feels good. Because why be basic when you can be extra? And then I got hand cream. The hand cream, I actually took it out. I put it in one of my bags. I have no idea where, which bag I put it in. The hand cream feels good luxurious okay it feels amazing it is silky it is smooth and it is hydrating feels good then we have cuticle oil bottle is beautiful oil nourishing oil feels fantastic i literally took this to the nail salon the other day and was like she said pick a color i said oh no oh no i brought my own yes honey your girl she brought her own so now what this is going to do is you're going to take these out and it opens up to the nail polish so i got one two three four five colors actually i got three colors one base coat one top coat these are plant-based nail polishes and they are beautiful i love that they're giving that overall like you use your hands to touch and feel the the bags to carry them and you're like you know your nails always need to look nice and you know feel good and it's just that connection between you holding this luxurious handbag your nails and every i kind of like this idea of where they're going with the beauty and the nail polish you know what i mean these are the colors that i received this is 83 rouge uh jean imperial and etope gris etope um I'm probably saying all of that wrong because we all know how I am. All right, so those are the beautiful colors and the beautiful gift that was given to me by Hermes Beauty Team. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this. And I am definitely putting this on my shelf. Again, I've already tried the nail polish and I love it. I love that it's plant-based. And I think that this would be the perfect gift this holiday season for that special person who has everything. You know what I mean? You're always trying to buy somebody something, but they have everything. This is a very beautiful gift nail polish is probably going to run you i think about 40 dollars a bottle a little pricey for nail polish however if it's a special gift i think it's something really nice that you can you can purchase someone let's jump into bags guys all right let's let's like 
let's jump. We're moving right along. Let's get into this. Are you ready? First of all, we need gloves because I'm going to give you the authentic experience. So let's grab some gloves. Now, when I said gloves, I meant socks because your girl is not walking around with a pair of white gloves. I just don't have white gloves just sitting around. It would be nice if I did. However, w like, why would I have white gloves? So you know what we're going to do? We're just going to put on some socks. It's going to do the same thing as the gloves. Just pretend, okay? Just pretend. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. This happens to be the one box that I brought back. I put my clothes inside of it and then put this in the suitcase. You might not be able to see my face, but you can see this bag. Now this is the bag. Hold on, let me bump down. This is the bag where she brought it out and I thought it was going to be mini and it was not and it was a completely different color from what I was thinking. However, it did make my heart skip a beat. So here it is. This is the 2424. This is a newer bag for Hermes. This bag has only been out for about two years now. It was on the runway 2019, I believe, and it sold out immediately once it was debuted. Uh, when it was debuted, I believe it only came in two sizes. Now it does come in three. There is a size right underneath this that is mini. That can be worn three different ways. It can be worn as a belt bag, it can be worn as a backpack, and it can just be worn um, holding it or on the side shoulder. And that was the bag that I was originally after because I love the idea of it being very versatile. However, when I saw this bag, I was like, I love it. This can fit a mini iPad. It's great for work. I love the two-tone color of it. Um, let me go ahead and open that up. So there's tons of paper inside because I keep it a little pristine, but it's overall just tons of room. There's also this pocket, this zip pocket here on the side um, in case you want to put anything extra. I want you to think of this bag as Kelly's cousin. This is like a slouchy cousin like you know the cousin that's just super chill but she's like very chic still she has a lot going on she doesn't take herself too seriously this is who this bag is this bag is great for 24 7 hence the name 24 24 like whether you are going away for the weekend or whether you are going from ladies who lunch or you are going to work um, and it's even small enough, you know what, to kind of go out at night. I wore this bag with a pair of jeans and my loafers and a nice belt, and I loved it. Like, super obsessed overall with this piece. I love the strap, so you can also kind of wear it on the shoulder. You can even go ahead and try and wear it crossbody. It's like possibilities are absolutely endless. The leather is beautiful. Like, I'm obsessed with the leather. Now, it does not scratch easily on the actual leather. However, this around this area, it does scratch very easily. So you need to be careful. I prefer to keep it in the dust bag so I can keep it away from my kids. But overall, let me tell you how much I paid for it because I have my receipts here. So I wanted to talk about the price of this bag. Now, this bag came up to 6000 550 euros. Remember, you're also going to get 10% of that back because of the tax that you don't need to pay for. Um, so overall, it was a really good price. And again, I'm not ever going to resell this bag, but if you needed to resell, you can make your money back and then some. It hasn't doubled in price. However, I think it went up maybe about $3,500 more than what I purchased. So I would end up making $3,500. So ching ching. But overall, I, I'm going to start collecting these. These are something that's going to last for a long period of time. And the color is so difficult to find. It is beautiful. It is, this color exactly is blue sapphire gold hardware. Stunning. All right, guys. And the last item that I am coming in hot with, I did not bring the box for this one, but I left it in a dust bag. Now, this was a bag that I was after. When I saw the bag in general, I was like, oh my God, I love this bag. This is just like a super chill, chic bag. It is like a subtle, like a subtle flex. You know, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Like a fashion girl knows, a fashion guy knows. So when I saw it, I was like, mm. and then I thought to myself, I was like really going overboard on uh, like the money that I was spending, kind of like budgeting myself. So I actually said no to this bag. 
and I purchased everything, checked out, was waiting for my bags, and then I had this feeling over me that was like, I'm not buying any other bags this season. I should just get this bag. It's something that is a collector's item and I'm always gonna have it and I don't wanna lose out on this opportunity because they're also a little bit difficult to receive. So I ended up going back for it and I purchased it. So here it is. Now this is the Picatin bag in an 18, very cute. It is a nice size. The lock does come off. Should you need the lock to come off, it comes with keys. The leather, the leather is so good. I'm absolutely obsessed. Like it smells so amazing. You can just tell it is just made of such great quality. Now there are no pockets in the inside. So I tend to just put all of my things in like a little pouch and then I put the pouch in the inside. How it closes is that the lock has a little bit of weight on it. So it keeps this part, this strap down. So therefore it keeps it closed. And overall, it's just a really nice chic bag. However, my only con about this particular piece is that the oils can transfer onto this bag bag quite easy. So I always make sure that I don't have any oil on my hands before carrying this bag. But as I said before, timeless, classic. This is something that you can always wear and a very neutral color. Let's get down to the price, shall we? So this bag cost me 2210, so 2210 euros. Again, I got the 10% tax back, uh, which was put directly back onto my credit card. I didn't have to go to the airport and um, get cash back because I usually do like the cash back so I know I don't get ripped off. But uh, Hermes is really great about just putting it directly back onto your credit card. So overall, this was a really reasonably priced bag and even the resale again on this has gone up tremendously. So you can always Google this bag and uh, see about the resale price. And it, it's just, I like it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna wear it today. All right, guys, so guess what? I actually have to go because, oddly enough, I'm going to an Hermes event today called Hermes Fit, and they are doing a fitness variation. So today I'll be going to like yoga, and they're going to use some of the scarves and things and incorporate that into the yoga class. So I will make sure to vlog that and put that on next week's vlog, so definitely stick around for that so you can kind of get some behind the scenes and see what that is about. If you are new, again, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. You're gonna love it here. I'm a vibe. Please subscribe. Comment what are some of your favorite pieces down below. See you guys next week in the next video. Love ya.